What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the new hero Enzo. The 4 star 4 star Uruguayan is now in the game as a hero. He is mostly explosive, he is 5 foot 11 with a high low and he can be centre forward cam striker in the striker position which is where we're going to put him. In terms of stats wise, we're looking pretty good. He's 88 rated, he's got himself a few play styles in finesse, power shot, incisive pass, technical flair and also acrobat. He then also has the play style plus of a first touch, which minimal error when trapping the ball and is able to transition to dribbling much faster with greater control. That is a decent one, to be honest. It's not necessarily my striking option. I would always take finesse shot or power shot, but I'm interested to see how he could work. Whether you'd want to drop him into that cam roll, let's have a look and see what we can find. He's 615,000 coins, and we have got that hunter on him, as I do think that's just going to add the most amount of pace that we need for him. He'd end up with 94 pace, 94 shooting, 90 dribbling as well with great composure. Let's just jump straight into him and see... If he beats Ledley King's new hero in FIFA 23. FC 24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC 24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Now, I have got huge, huge expectations for him. He is now the second highest priced striker hero in the game, just being beaten out by 1.4 mil Di Natale and just going over Valera at about 600. So he is about joint second, give or take, depending on what he kind of actually settles at as naturally. He hasn't been in the game as long as Valera, so I could imagine he will naturally decrease in price over the time and naturally we have had an 87 max hero pack as well so we should kind of take that into a little consideration into his feet like we should see he should have that first touch plus which should do well in terms of getting the ball into his feet it's whether what we could do after it is not that looking for a big run if we can look for the little out turn there See him on the run, and he's going to catch it. Did we keep on side with that one? Good first touch. Finds the second, and a beautiful finish. It's a great ball. I didn't think that he was uh, on side there, to be honest, but did manage to do calm and collective work in, in front of goal there. Down the wing, looking for that inside. Got good dribbling and composure as we try and go back on ourselves. Haaland's going to win that. Little turn again, little double turn. Try and find Haaland. And again, he's going to look for it. Little ball roll inside of Marquinhos with a great outreach of a standing challenge then. Good play back. Son's going to win it. Looking for that ball across. He knows he's got to bring him. Haaland. Oh, into Chuameni. And a keeper's going to get that one. Good take from him. First forward's definitely not bad at all. Very, very responsive on the ball, which is exactly what we want. Decent passing, good dribbling, positions nice. I'd say most definitely from what we see so far. Okay, fair enough. So far, we're seeing a very good striker. And naturally, I'm expecting it for 600,000. So it's, it's none out of the ordinary. But to be honest, we have paid some money for some cards. And honestly, they have been absolutely not worth a single penny i must admit from just the first game so far very very happy with this card get the ball in look again he's gonna go for that near post didn't get the power on it though maybe should have took an extra touch to get that in he's got a great response with this wing play as well i must admit son's gonna make the run forward he's kept very very close on the ball seeing if i could find him on the middle there oh that's not the pass i wanted into him can we find the space little turn this problem is the reach of defenders now especially their standing tackles is absolutely on the highest end good play he's got to get that it's got to be a finish oh my didn't even get the build up to that 
Honestly, fantastic work. No pressure whatsoever from the defenders. And just some good left stick dribbling. Nothing too crazy, which really, really worked. And I think... <coughs> The only issue in terms of kind of a price of a striker at the moment is, are you willing to spend that amount of coins for him? Try and find... that. That's just beautiful. Comes back straight away. But are you willing to spend 600k on a striker or go for a Griezmann, go for a Haaland, who most definitely is a lot cheaper and will still give you very good bursts. And I'm not going to say they are the same striker as most definitely. It's going to be hard to find a striker of that sort of composure and everything. Oh, that's a good ball. That's got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal. Poor defending, bringing two people out. But in terms of what we've got as striker options, there is a lot to offer. And that's got to be the ball over the top. Get the first touch. It's, oh, I'm not, not nowhere near. He's ran it out of play. Fantastic. There it is, though. It's a great ball this time. It's got to find the finesse. Oh, and he buries it. Beautiful. What's that? Four goals in the first match. Very, very happy with this start. I don't think I've had a, a dominant striker like this for quite some time. And, and I'm still waiting on that Mbappe. Good play. Finds a bit of Griezmann in. Who's going to have a big battle with Varane. Should have definitely turned out quicker. But he manages to get it through. Finds a bit of Greasy. It's got to be a pullback. Good tackle. Ooh, is he on? That's a great ball then. Oh, he's, he's going to go for that run. Ah, I was hoping he'd go for maybe a bit more of a tackle on that one. Solid, solid ball through. Fort Son might have been offside. But like I said, the wing play from him, just being able to go for that, that, that ball as well, is beautiful. It's exactly what we need from our strikers. Oh, look at this. All the way, please. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You don't pressure him. And genuinely, he can just go straight through. I must admit, I did think the balance would have made him not necessarily blocky. Because I don't I don't think his build is built around blocky at all. But I thought it might be more of a, an issue kind of getting this left stick on underway sort of thing. And most definitely has not had a problem whatsoever with him. Oh, that was close. Just a little just a little attempt, really. Nothing too crazy, and he's nearly got it. Oh, big ball down the side. We've not got too much in it. Oh, it's, okay, that's fair enough. There he is, though. Got to be the finish. I should have gone near post. Oh, and you don't bring your keeper out. It's beautiful. Managed to get the cross. And his keeper's just too far out. Naturally, if you bring him out, you don't keep bringing him out if I've gone for the whip across. It's got to have the run on him. Who's he got? He's got Chiumeni in pursuit. He's going to burst past him. Oh, but not enough there. Kind of first touch let him down a little bit. <laughs> I suppose it's dribbling more so than a first touch, I'd say. Ooh, a bit of play. I like it. We won a corner as well. Let's see if he does the same. I, I'm interested. He's going to go for that same approach. Not bought him out even more this time, but it does not matter. So in terms of overall form, then, we're looking at... I think I'm selling mine at about 625. He's about 634, but it looks like he's kind of going up and down. And in terms of price with him, as we can imagine, he's only been in the game, it seems, a week give or take, for Friday, so yeah, not not even a week yet, so he has dropped down massively, to start with coming in at a mil, and now he's, as we can see, taking a, a very, very big decline, but I can imagine he's probably at sort of the rating that he would be, because when you do look at the other hero strikers that we've got, Di Natale is, seems to be, from, from what the, the price standpoint is, a fan favourite, which I totally agree, love Di Natale. Future, again, looking good. Voler, incredible. And then we've got ourselves Enzo. 
In terms of the others, you've got the likes of a Govu coming in at 355. But the one thing you have got to remember with these, with Di Natale, with Valer, with Enzo as well, naturally wouldn't have been in there anyway, is we've not had a max 88 or 89 SBC. It has just been 87 and under. So even Tevez is still chilling at 463. Whereas the likes of the Govu, the Brolin, the, the Keen, they have all had an SBC where everybody had five attempts because we had one to start with then a double and then another double so we've had five attempts to get all of them which will massively affect the pricing in terms of him as a striker very good i liked his just composure in front of goal finishing pace was decent with the hunter i think a hunter's got to be the option to go for personally and i think he does it really really well 94 on both ends up being a 90 rated striker which is always perfect and i can imagine yeah, Hunter is definitely going to be the shout going forward. It's a nice card added in. Hopefully we do get an upgrade for him as well in the future. As I know with King, I think we may have got a fantasy to be fair. But I can't remember many of Ledley King. But it took him a while. Once he got that hero, he did get a little bit later than what Enzo has. But it is a nice that they are adding cards in as well. So it's not just leaving it till next year. They've actually added one in if maybe the, the, the transaction or however the contract works to get him in actually went through. I do like the factor of adding in new icon and heroes throughout the game. Maybe not loads because we already have quite a lot, but it adds a fresh feel to heroes as well. Maybe keeping five to ten of them kind of back and then releasing them through the year with the optimal ratings. It doesn't even have to be a base version. For instance, if we got to foot birthday icons and and suddenly we've got a micon that can come into the game don't make him just a base or release both but release a foot birthday as well as a one-off special then bring him into the game next year potentially it's just an idea i really like it and i think in terms of pricing he's absolutely perfect for what you're going to get back great finisher great pace great dribbling balance isn't really that much of a, an issue with him great composure just an overall very very good striker let me know down below if you've managed to get him or want to pick him up and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.